This video has been brought to you by Hostinger. This is the iPhone XS and this is the iPhone 11 Pro. Is the iPhone 11 Pro worth the upgrade from an iPhone XS? Or if you want to buy both phones, which one should you buy? I'm going to be answering all of this in this video. What is going on guys? So yes, it's time to compare the iPhone XS versus the iPhone 11 Pro. With my experience, because I've used the iPhone XS for over a year, and now I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro for over a month now, and I can say certain things about them, some things that I don't really like about this phone, some things that I really like about this phone. So yeah, let's just start talking about the battery life, for example. The battery life is something that the iPhone XS really lacks. With the iPhone 11 Pro, you're getting four more hours of battery life, and on the iPhone 11 Pro Max from the iPhone XS Max, you're getting five more hours of battery life. So this is something that I hated about the iPhone XS. Like last year, the, there was the iPhone XR and the iPhone XS. And the iPhone XR had a better battery life, and it just didn't make sense. And it's just something that I hated so much about this phone. It never lasted me through the whole day, and this is something that really shines about the iPhone 11 Pro. After using it for a whole month, it's honestly one of my favorite features on this phone because it lasts you throughout the whole day without a problem. And when I say without a problem, is really without a problem. Like with extensive, with extensive usage, with hardcore usage, gaming, whatever you want, it lasts you through, through the whole day. And with normal usage, it can even last you a day and a half, which is insane. And that's one thing that I love. Like if you're traveling, this is the way to go. You know, the iPhone XS, not a good battery life at all. So if we're talking about the cameras on both phones, both phones have great cameras. The iPhone 11 Pro does have an extra lens. This has three lens and this has two lens. This has three lens because it's actually got an ultra wide camera, which I love. I mean, it's so fun to use. The actual main lens on both phones are really good. Like sure, the iPhone 11 Pro does have a better camera, like the main camera but it's really not that big of a deal if you're coming from a 10 so i wouldn't say that the camera shines on the 11 pro compared to the 10s sure it is better and if you compare them side by side it's pretty different but the iphone 10s i mean it's such a, it has such a good camera such a good camera one thing that i do have to say though about the 11 pro is that this guy has night mode on the camera so if you're taking photos at night the iphone 10s will kind of lack because I mean, it doesn't have night mode. And night mode really shines. I mean, if you just check out this image right here, you really notice the difference. It's crazy. It's mind blowing. And I honestly can't believe, like sometimes I'm taking photos at night and sometimes I'm like, I can't believe I, I shot this with my phone. So night, if we're talking about night photography, the iPhone 11 Pro really does shine compared to the XS. We also get white selfies on the front facing camera on the 11 Pro, which is really fun to use. Um, it's, it's something that like, I used the Google Pixel 3 last year, and I loved the Pixel 3 because of these wide selfies. I mean, you could fit everybody in the shot, or if you were just taking a shot by yourself, you get more in the frame. Um, going back to the XS, it's like, you know, you really have to pull yourself away to get like to get it like the 11 Pro feel. This is something that I really love, and I just can't go back to an, a normal camera because of these selfies. I mean, you, you kind of get like this GoPro fisheye style, which I love. If we're talking about performance, both devices perform perfectly well. This has the A13 Bionic, this has the A12 Bionic. If you want to be honest, iPhone 11 Pro is snappier. I said this on my review. It isn't faster, but it feels snappier. I don't know if it's iOS or the actual um, A13 Bionic or maybe both of them together, but it really feels snappier. Is it a big deal? In this case, performance is not a big deal. You will get amazing performance on both devices. Another thing that is a little bit better is the display. We get a brighter display on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is something that if you compare them side by side, sure, you would notice the difference, but if nobody would tell you that you know the actual display is better, it's something that you wouldn't really notice. Maybe if you're watching videos, HDR content, maybe you can notice a difference, but it really isn't that big of a deal as well. The design is also different on both devices. On the XS, we get this grippier glass. I mean, it's just glass and it's just grippier. It, it, you know, it doesn't fall. This, it's a frosted glass back. It feels more premium. Like I honestly, if we compare both devices, I like the, the 11 Pro better because of how it looks. 
but it's it actually you know this doesn't fall and this is a little bit slippier the design overall i like the 11 pro better but this is actually a little bit more functional since you know it's not slippy at all so the 11 pro also comes with a fast charger in the box which is something that we've been waiting us as apple fans we've been waiting all of our life to have a fast charger included in the box so it's great that apple has included a fast charger in the box you will not get that on the 10s so if you want to charge your phone really fast you will have to purchase the um, 11 Pro Max or you can just go to the Apple Store and pick a fast charger but but I mean it's pretty annoying that you have to go to the Apple Store and purchase a fast charger because it wasn't included in the box with your own money so I mean it's great it's great that Apple has finally included on the 11 Pro so is the iPhone 11 Pro worth the upgrade coming from an iPhone 10s and I would have to say no I mean if you have the money go for it I mean I'm not gonna say no of course you're gonna love the iPhone 11 Pro because if it's amazing, it's an amazing phone. But it's really not that big of an upgrade. I mean, it's a huge upgrade. It's probably the biggest upgrade that you know Apple has ever put into an iPhone. But coming from an iPhone XS, the iPhone XS is such a good device that in my opinion, it's not worth the upgrade from the iPhone XS. But I'm gonna say this as well. If battery life is something that is a really big deal for you, you might consider upgrading to the iPhone 11 Pro because the battery life on this thing is, is just phenomenal. I mean, I just have no words to describe the battery life. The cameras, if cameras is something that is really important to you, also consider on upgrading. Um, but coming from an iPhone XS, I just don't really see a point unless, you know, money is not a really big, a big deal for you. Now, if you're coming from an iPhone 10 get an iPhone 11 Pro. If you're coming from an iPhone 8, 7, 6, of course, go for the iPhone 11 Pro because you are going to love this thing. Now, let's say as I was saying, if you're upgrading from an iPhone 6, iPhone 7, or iPhone 8, and you want to upgrade to a new phone, but you don't want to spend that much money from an iPhone, like an iPhone 11 Pro because it's so expensive, um, and that's a lot of people. Should you buy the 10s? Or should you buy the iPhone 11? Or should you buy the iPhone 10R? In my opinion, right now, the best value you can get for an iPhone is the iPhone 10R. You know what also has a great value? Hostinger. If you want to host a high quality website for a very low price, well, you should probably check it out. I mean, just look at these prices. So yeah, if you want to host an awesome website, just use the code Nikias and get up to 91% off your purchase. Their service is super easy to use, it's clean, it's minimal, and you've also got a 30 day money back guarantee. So the question that I'm going to ask you is why not? Once again, if you want to host an awesome website, go to hostinger.com slash Nikias and use the code Nikias to get up to 91% off yearly web hosting plans. Succeed faster. 500 bucks and you can get a brand new iPhone XR from Apple. And that's a great deal. So that's my opinion. I mean, the, if you're buying the iPhone 11, go for it. You're going to love it as well. If you can afford the iPhone 11 Pro, go for it. But right now, the best value that you can get for an iPhone is the iPhone XR. Once again, 500 bucks, brand new, fresh from Apple is a crazy good deal. So that's my opinion. Any iPhone that you get today, it is, you will love. It all depends on your on your budget, whatever, whatever the heck you want to spend, or maybe cameras is not a big deal for you. All I can say is that this phone is amazing. It's incredible. But guess what? This is also an incredible phone. You don't need the latest and greatest to have the best. I mean, if you want the best, you have to get this, but you know what I mean. Once again, if you want to host an awesome website, go to hostinger.com slash and use the code Nikias 